you know. So for women, I think a lot of times, including myself, you don't really realize how tough you could be,、mm-hmm. how smart you are, as long as you. Put your mind into you、mm-hmm. could be able to、um, get to wherever you want. You just have to trust yourself. Hi, I'm Phoebe Foy from Quantopian. Quantopian helps people all over the world solve today's hardest investment challenges. Today for our Women in FinTech series, I'm here with Ng Shu. She's on the finance team at Quantopian. Thanks for being with us today. My pleasure. <laughs> so why don't we start off by you telling us a little bit more about what you do at Quantopian? Okay, I work in the finance team with our CFO Mark Volpe.、Mm-hmm. And what like kind of work do you have to do every day? Like, what are some specific projects? We actually do a lot of.、Um, we cover a lot of the detailed finance、um, transactions.、Mm-hmm. We do a lot of reconciles with the reports from different、um, prime broker,、mm-hmm. prime brokerage accounts, and then、mm-hmm. we also report to the investors. We do a lot of tax compliance reporting, tax filings,、um, vendor reporting, and then we also have relationship with the authors.、Um, To gather their information for the compliance filing as well.、Mm-hmm. So you're obviously, you know, much more on the finance side on,、yes. from a firm that's very tech focused. Right. How is that different for you? I'm sure you came from a much more finance focused、yeah. background, <laughs> and now you're at a, a tech firm. What are the challenges, differences? It's actually a very、uh, new. Area for me.、Mm-hmm. Um, in the past, I've been working mostly in the traditional financial industry. So、mm-hmm. I started as a、um, certified public accountant in a public accounting firm.、Mm-hmm. Um, I worked in there for over four years,、mm-hmm. and then I went to a big private equity firm and I worked in the tax department there for over seven years. Okay, wow.、Um, that was a great experience and、mm-hmm. very different and very traditional financial industry, but very、mm-hmm. different from what we have here.、Um, after that, I went to a hedge fund firm、mm-hmm. and I worked there as a controller for two years. Again, it's more of finance, traditional finance、mm-hmm. industry. So this. Is really my first software company,、um, but it actually gives me a lot of chances to see a different、um, exposure. How we combine the technology into the finance、mm-hmm. industry,、um, because in the past I have been encounter a lot of situations that we have to work with IT department within the finance firm、okay. to、um, come up together with. Certain software、um, to increase our work efficiency、mm-hmm. for the finance group, but now here it's even a step further,、mm-hmm. which、um, we try to do everything automated. We、yeah. try to leverage a lot of things to computer to machine learning、mm-hmm. um, to go further、yeah. um, than any other. Traditional finance firms have been was just saying.、Mm-hmm. So was that a challenge? Like, was it hard to learn that new process or way of doing things here? It is. It is. I mean, the, the past experience helped me a lot, but、mm-hmm. also it's still a very.、Uh, there are a lot of new things、um, that I have to learn, and also I feel like myself like a a big sponge. I'm <laughs> absorbing a、yeah. lot of new things, and I start to try to educate myself, and I start to. Think about people around me, and then see what are the resources、mm-hmm. I can get more information from. I try to talk. My husband actually has、um, a background of software engineer,、oh, so we started to talk a lot of <laughs> technology stuff、yeah. on our、um, d- dinner table. <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting, which is very helpful. <laughs> yes, I bet.、Uh-huh. Wow, interesting.、Yep. Do you think so? Obviously, from a, a traditional background.、Mm-hmm. Are more and more people learning about this new tech-focused way of investing and things like that, or is it still very two separate worlds in a way? I totally think it's it's the train. It's a big、uh-huh. train right now, and、uh-huh. it's almost everywhere. It's not even in the U.S. It's in a lot of different countries as well.、Wow, and then、uh, when I start here, we also because our Company has the platform all、mm-hmm. over the world. We have users all over the world,、mm-hmm. and we started to find out it's a a, a very big trend、um, throughout all the different countries.、Yep. Yes. 
Um, so you mentioned with some of the past companies you worked with, working with the IT teams and coming up with other software. Could you tell us more about that? Sure, yeah. Actually, in my uh, first job, we um, do a lot of tax compliance work. Um, it started with, as you can imagine, accountant has big paper binders and a lot of Excel spreadsheets a lot of paper printing, um, PDF files, mm -hmm. but then we started to figure out we really need a software mm -hmm. to um, to bring up the efficiency, work efficiency. So we started work, work with internal IT department. Mm -hmm. um, we use a lot of the IT resource trying to pull together all the information mm -hmm. that we used to be do, doing in Excel spreadsheet or using Excel formulas and pull them into automated calculation in a software. Oh, wow. And um, that helped with the whole process and um, reduce a lot of work hours for everybody. And then it also happens in the second work um, in the private equity firm that I work with. We do a lot of internal reporting to our partners. Mm -hmm. um, again, a lot of the paper filing, a lot of the um, Excel spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. And we actually, when I first started in that company, everything was paper. But then by the end of seven six years, yeah. pretty much everything is electronic. Interesting. Um, we eliminated a lot of the paper filing and also we did a, a software. We work with, again, internal IT department. We built up a um, software. So we kind of use most of the um, the first step initial data importing mm -hmm. into software using Excel file or CSV file, transmitting mm -hmm. everything into the software and then use automated calculation within the software and populating um, reports. And we also um, built in the logging function for all the investors so they can log into the portal mm -hmm. by themselves and check on the status of report um, on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's sort of the experience of the combination of financial and technology at early stage for me. Yeah. <laughs> when you started working on that, then did you focus a little bit more on that in your career or stay with the more traditional work? It's more of, I, I feel like myself is more of a bridge mm -hmm. in between okay. because you have the financial background knowing what it should be, what mm -hmm. we want the form to look like or what the calculation should be, what kind of calculation yeah. we want. But the IT group probably don't have that much of information. So we want to work with them in details and communicate exactly what we want. And mm -hmm. then um, do a lot of testing, actually, yeah. um, to make sure we got the product that we want. OK, interesting. Yeah. Taking a few more steps back, um, how did you come about a career in finance? <laughs> That's you a pursue good question. That? <laughs> what made you pursue that? <laughs> That's a good question. I actually um, had, um, in college, I had a background of tax. and then. Mm -hmm. Uh, when I moved forward, I wanted to get a master's degree in accounting. Mm -hmm. So after that, I went to the accounting firm. Mm -hmm. But then with more and more experience working in the finance companies, notice that efficiency is really a big question, uh -huh. a big obstacle for for accountants and for a lot of the, um, I think, for the finance firms. So both fields, you know, tech and finance, are mm -hmm. still more male-dominated. Yes. Have you noticed that a lot in your career? Yes, actually. I, I mean, it doesn't really come across to me at the early stage mm -hmm. of the career, but then more and more um, throughout the career, I do find out a lot of times you would, or I would walk into a conference room with, oh, middle-aged female, a male mm -hmm. um, sitting in the conference room. Yeah. I might be the only woman sitting there. Um, I do have to, sometimes I need to present myself more, acting more yeah. mature than my own age. Mm -hmm. to, that makes sense. Yes. What advice, if you have any, for young women pursuing you know, the same type of career as you or something similar in fintech. Do you have any advice for them? Um, I feel like first you have to really like what you're doing mm -hmm. and you know what you're getting into. This is more of a hybriding industry. You have both the financial people and you have the technology people. Um, they probably have the different backgrounds. So you're coming in knowing that um, you, you have to be very flexible mm -hmm. and then be open to a lot of different ideas and then process during the work could be different from a classic technology yeah. company and would be different from the classic financial company. Mm -hmm. um, but then if you keep an open mind, 
um, it will work for you. You know, so for women, I think a lot of times, including myself, you don't really realize how tough you could be, mm-hmm. how smart you are, as long as you put your mind into it, you mm-hmm. could be able to um, get to wherever you want You just have to trust yourself. That's great. My final question for you personally in your career, where do you see um, your path taking you or your development? Like any more tech focused than you already are? Or I definitely like- want to um, keep going with this um, industry. Mm-hmm. I, I get really drawn into the more technology can help us. This is really mm-hmm. the future for finance industry. Mm-hmm. Uh, we need to engage more of the automated system yep. um, into all finance industry across the world. Mm-hmm. Um, it can help us with a lot of the efficiency build up and also can help us with minimize a lot of the manual mistake. Yeah. So um, I would want to know, also get to know more, um, get myself more educated with yeah. the technology side of the information. Interesting. So. It's exciting. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Thank you.